Welcome back to You Can Do tutorial today. We're um, just going to do a quick card. It's my mum's birthday tomorrow, so I just thought I'd take you through um, what I'm going to do. Not really sure 100% what I'm going to do, but it's going to be a 6x6 uh, six six card. That much I have worked out. So let's open the Cricut up and turn it on. Okay, let's go straight into our cartridge. I'm using the American alphabet which comes preloaded and I'm using one of the ones near the back it's actually a doily but I'm going to use it as a flower so it shows me I want blackout shadow that one four of them Back to blackout shadow shift and then another four of them. Turn and I usually do two returns just to put it down a bit further. Um, makes it easy with the placement of the other piece of paper. Okay, and while I'm cutting, I'm also going happy days on it rather than happy birthday. Take the blackout and the shift lock off, and we want font three. It's down here and shift on that one's happy day up it's come so we'll just go back into this I'm going to put another return in where he thinks it through and I'm going to change the size of it. It should be 45 because that's what they were all originally set at. Oh, 35 from the last one. Mm. 55, happy day. Two and a half inches. Yep. And I'm also going to put the shadow on, so font 3 shadow, happy day, there we go, and seeing as I've already set what size I wanted this one, it automatically comes out the next size, the same for the next one, um, and seeing as I've got a layered on, not real dial size. I know that they'll fit perfectly. There's also on this cartridge a present that I think I will put in on the inside. There it is. So I'm just going to put, get my paper ready and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, now I've got my paper loaded. I've got blue up here with a bit of a flowery pattern on it, a brown with some blues for the two flowers and then you can't see at the moment but down the bottom I've got balloons for the happy birthday and brown to do the shadow just to tie it all in. So let's style this out. So we press load paper, let's press cut Okay, so it says light paper, go down to medium, speed 5, pressure 4, and we're doing one cut. Just changing this to 3. Because that's what I have my blade set on. So now it says that it's a custom cut. So I've already loaded my paper, so press cut. Think for a moment.
cut again and ask me if I got the right blade in. Yes, so cut and off it goes. So we'll be back in a moment when the crickets cut that out. Okay, so it has stopped cutting, so we'll just unload paper. Okay, I've reloaded my paper for the present. So we'll just hit load paper again. I find that by putting a little bit of pressure on the edge end of the mat, it loads better. Uh, otherwise, it tends to not go in quite far enough. Cut, and off it'll go again. Okay, so they've cut out now. My paper. Okay, so I'm all set up now, ready to go. Got all my pieces cut out. I like to have my um, booklet here. It just um, reminds me which way things go together. Um, I just find that a little bit easier. So I always keep it close on hand, and in case I change my mind along the way, I can just grab that as well. So what I've done is I've got a um, 6 by 12 inch card piece of paper, sorry, just a 12 by 12 cut in half and I've just folded it over. Just, I tend to just use my nail to run it down the side. Yep. This happy day has some little bits and pieces. Just a little poker that I've picked up from a, a $2 store somewhere. I find that just makes it nice and easy to get rid of the bits. Okay, N now all the pieces are cut out. Zoomed in a little bit so you can see it's quite detailed, these little bits. And I cut this at four and a half centimetres or 45 millimetres. Sometimes I find it a little bit hard to match up some of these little bits. As you can see, it's curled itself so I actually just cut them off because it okay take all that off the only time we see the blue is through the holes so provided that it's covering over those holes it's not a requirement for anything else now I have some double sided tape which I really like to use and I've also bought a Zig 2A glue pen which I'm really liking, that makes things so much easier than trying to cut out lots of little bits and pieces. So, just to start off with, I find the easiest thing to do is line it up and then actually turn it over, put some pressure on it, which I'm sure is not a very conventional way to do it. But there we go, and it lines it up, and then I just leave it facing down. That way it's not going to curl itself up. So we're just going to glue Happy Day together. Okay. With the flowers, I'm actually going to cut in a little bit on each of the petals. So. I have now cut in on each of the petals then the blue petals I'm just going to ink the edges okay. once I've done that just one finger either side off it and then I'm just rolling it up under my fingers Okay, now it's time to put it all together. So I have created my flowers just by 
bending them all up and then putting them on top of each other. Now I'm actually using a braid to hook, not that one, this one over here, a, a little blue braid to put them all together. Oops, sorry, knocked my camera then. Um, so I need to put a hole through each one of them to be able to put that in the center to hold it together. So again, just going to use my poker. Okay, see it's flattened just because of putting the tape and all on. Make sure the heart's facing the right way. Put them down and then just using my spatula, just lifting them back up again. Give them a little bit of body. Some of them have moved. Not too picky with my flowers. I actually think they look better if they're not what we would consider to be perfect. Um, because generally flowers aren't and I think that's the way they look the best bit of character in them. So now I'm going to do exactly the same thing to the brown one. I'll be back in a moment when I've got that done. Okay, I've gone ahead and placed Happy Day down on it. As I said, this is a birthday card um, for my mum. But I've chosen to use Happy Day. I have also placed a white piece of paper on the inside so that we can write on it. Um, I prefer to use blue pen and obviously you can't see blue pen on blue paper. And my little present that I've cut out, I'm just going to glue it down. So I had to put it down in this corner over here. Close it up, put a bit of pressure on it for a few moments while it dries. But that's my card. Nice and quick, didn't take me very long to do at all. So I hope you enjoyed that and learned something new, just another style of doing flowers without using actual flower cutout. Um, just a doily that I've cut into a flower shape. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Remember, you can do it.